please put your seat up. We are preparing to land. everybody it is solita sims welcome or welcome back to my channel i am so happy to be here presenting to you guys the second episode of my first ever sims 4 let's play series model simpson starring the one the only kaya covington i know you guys have been wanting me to do a let's play and do a youtube series for a really long time so i'm super excited about this and i'm just ready to get into it and show you the world of kaya and the story behind the series you guys really turned out for the first episode i was not excited expecting it to do that well. So thank you guys so much for all the love and the support on the very first episode. It means the world to me. I'm really glad you guys like Kaya and the concept of the whole series. It means a lot to me. And I hope you guys are as excited to get into the world of Model Simpson and Scandal Sim just as much as I am. So if you haven't done it already, please go and watch the first episode. You will learn a lot about the series Kaya and her friends as well as Scandal Sim, the anonymous blogger that is putting Kaya and her friends on blast and sharing it with all of San Myshuno, New York. But with that, I think we're just ready to get into it. So here we have our star of the show, Miss Kaya Covington. She's in a great mood, very energetic and determined right now as she's just come back from her trip to Del Sol Valley, Los Angeles. Kaya has been working with this brand since the very beginning of her modeling career. Kaya in human years is 21 years old and her modeling career began around 15 years old. She did a lot of swimmer modeling for this brand, but now the brand has actually decided to venture into lingerie. And since they partnered with Kaya in the past and they've liked her, they decided they want her her to be the face of this campaign and they want her to be their first ever New York based ambassador. This is huge for Kaya because she's never been an ambassador of any brand before. And since the brand has grown immensely since they first partnered with Kaya back when she was a teenager, this is really going to put her name and her face on the map in the modeling industry. So this is huge for Kaya. So that's why she's in a good mood, which is rare. We'll get into her traits a little later, but I want to take full advantage of Kaya being happy, but that's kind of hard to do when we have a haunting occurring at her a house right now. We just got home. We just got home and there's a haunting. I've never even done this before. I know this comes with for rent and that's the reason why I haven't seen it because I've been avoiding for rent for uh, reasons I am sure we are all aware of. I have to exercise the ghost and confront the ghost. I really don't want to do that. I, I just don't. She just got home. She's jet lagged. She wants to just chill. We have plans for today that are just very relaxing and I don't want to deal with this. I really don't, but I guess I have to. Exercise the ghost, select the floating object and exercise to banish the haunting ghost and then confront the ghost, select the haunting ghost and confront to try and push out the nuisance. That just sounds like so much work. I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm down with that. I bet Kaya isn't. Okay, where is this damn ghost? I don't see anything except for Kaya's best friend Yu Yen doing push-ups on the public sidewalk. She looks so cute in her little orange outfit that I gave her. So Kaya is right over here with her luggage in hand because again, she just got home from traveling out to Del Sol Valley, Los Angeles. And right over here, is her house. So it's right next to where she's standing. This is obviously a build that is inspired by a New York brownstone as Sam Mishuno is based off of New York in this save in this series. These are three different rental properties and this is the one that Kaya is currently living in. And the reason why you see her bestie Yuyan out here is because she lives in this white one right over here. They live right next to each other. They live on the same lot. The one in between them I'm sure is owned by this Sim who's currently watching Yuyan. Apparently her name is Mara Blake. Okay. Okay, yeah, she is their neighbor. This build is made by the talented Eva Rodkey. I will make sure to leave a link to her post about it. In the description of this video, you will be able to find all the information about the lots I use or some of the custom sims I've downloaded in the description of the episodes. Just take a look at this build. Oh my goodness, it is an absolutely sensational, beautiful, gorgeous, there's so many words to describe it, build. It's probably one of the best builds I've ever seen in this game. Now the interior of the build, especially Kaya and Yu Yen's brownstones, is very different from the one that Eva Eva Rodkey did design herself. I had to give it a touch of Kaya, a touch of Yu Yen, but I didn't change the exterior and I didn't change the floor plan with the exception of upstairs. Um, we don't talk about upstairs. It's not done. I'm just, you guys know the spiel. I'm not a builder. I hate building. I loathe it. I just can't. I can't. I don't have the patience. I want to be a builder. I do. I really do. Cause sometimes there's like something I see on Pinterest. It's a house. It's beautiful. And I try to look for it on the gallery or see if some builder has made it before and they haven't. And I'm like, wow, 
I'd really like that in my game. Maybe I should build it. And then I go and try to build it. And immediately after, I'm fed up. I'm sick of it. I don't want to do it anymore. So I don't have the patience for it. I don't think I have the talent for it. I think my talent is in my storytelling, <laughs> in my sim creating, and that's it. Um, Who knows? Maybe I'll become a builder one day, but I highly fucking doubt it. So no, I did not finish the third level of Kaya's brownstone, and I don't really care. Eventually, I'm going to do something with it. I feel like I'm going to make uh, one thing I don't like about this that I did is I don't like Kaya's closet being in her bedroom I don't feel like it just doesn't vibe it doesn't vibe and it just if she's a model and partially a influencer too if that's her career you know she's gonna be getting sent PR all the freaking time so I feel like it makes more sense for her to have a walk-in closet so I'm feeling like this is going to be a walk-in closet slash maybe like glam room and this is either gonna be an office or a guest room I did convert this used to be a bathroom I did convert this into a little laundry space which I kind of like I did finally get the laundry day pack I have been waiting for so long contemplating should i buy this kit should i not buy this kit but i did i I've, i i i who have i become i used to make fun of kits all the time and now i own five i think i think i own five i had to get it and oh is there laundry in here i don't know how to do this if i'm being completely honest <laughs> like i said i just got the pack well since kai is here i guess it's fine to do some laundry she does have some other plans for the day she just got back from del sol valley los angeles she's a bit jet lagged you know she wants to chill for the day and it is only 7 15 in the morning so she has all day to do whatever she wants we're gonna go ahead and go over to a gym in san maishuno's uptown district in the afternoon we're gonna meet up with Yu Yen for lunch. And at the end of the night, we are going to go to a jazz club in San Machino to go watch Kaya's good friend Jaden Montrose perform at her new gig. Pause. What in the fuck? Kaya has been feeling really calm and cheerful lately. Has Kaya learned to temper down her hot headed behavior, embrace the change from hot headed to cheerful? Um, no. Kaya, I don't care how calm and cheerful you've been lately. You're just calm and chill for right now because you had the opportunity of a lifetime in Del Sol Valley. That does not mean we're gonna swap out a whole personality trait. The personality trait that I really took my time picking in the creation of you. No. The audacity. We thought this was going to be chill and calm and it's already turning into a mess. Welcome back home, Kaya. You haven't missed much. And I hear the motherfucking ghost. I hear it somewhere. Of course, it's in the freaking toilet. It costs 400 simoleons to exercise a ghost. Um, we have 750. I know she's a model and all, and models make good money, but I wanted to give her like a realistic amount of money that a young adult woman would have in New York City, which is nothing. 750 seems like an appropriate amount. I imagine she has money like in savings or in investments and stuff as well. Um, but are you kidding me? I have to spend that much money to exercise a ghost. I never even wanted this. I never asked for this. And he's made a mess on the floor of her bathroom as well. Oh my God, this is the only way to get rid of him, isn't it? <sighs> Great. Put this down literally anywhere. Please hurry before this ghost freaking leaves. Where is she putting it? On the table? Go to work? No, we're calling out. We're calling out. We have to deal with this nonsense and we have we have things to do. Zoibam. Ulak. Okay. Where is the ghost? Is he still here? Yes, he is. No. No, he's not. Well, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Exercise it now. Girl, hurry up before he leaves. He loved. Oh my God. No, he's not. Okay. Okay. He's still there. Go exercise it. I don't care if it costs 400. I'm just so sick of this. She looks so happy. <laughs> That's not going to last for long. Get rid of him. Great job taking care of that haunted ghost. As a result, the unit rating went up. Oh, we didn't lose $400. This is just... This it's just fantastic. What a great way to start. So I'm hoping that means he's gone because I'm not trying to deal with that ever again. I hated that immensely, but somehow I didn't lose my money. So I guess it's a good thing. And then after that, I think we should throw our laundry into the washing machine. I think there's already clothes in here. This is a dryer. Which one's a washer? I don't know. It is already 9 20 in the morning. We've wasted like three hours just trying to exercise that damn ghost. So annoying. And clothes. Okay. So, oh, we're just going to Alrighty then. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, if I'm being completely honest. Move it to the dryer and then we'll put these dirty clothes in the washer. Great. Fantastic. Okay, now dry the laundry. Can I just put that in there? I can. Okay, brilliant. Okay, put it go. Nope. Okay, go. Nope. 
Yep, there we go. That's gonna take a minute. So now we can finally go to the gym. This is where Kaya and also Yu Yen live, the old salt house. It is a 30 by 30 lot in the Spice District of San Myshuno, New York. And we are going to go over here to Uptown to the San Myshuno Gym and Spa. And I'll make sure to leave all the information about the build in the description. We're gonna go ahead and head over there all by ourselves. And we're just gonna have a nice stress-free morning working out, getting all of that rage from that ghost haunting our fucking house out in a healthy manner. First, can I talk about this build real quick? Can I talk about this build real quick? Because it is insane. This is probably the most insane gym build I've ever seen. So like I said earlier, this is the San Myshuno Gym and Spa lot and it is by ARSAGR200 on the gallery. I did tweak it a little bit. I did add some mods into this build. I made a mod showcase video on some of my favorite workout mods for The Sims 4 and I did add one of my favorite mods in which is the CrossFit mod by SYB, like these dumbbells, and this pull-up bar, stuff like that, just to add more ways for the Sims to work out in this gym. But this lot is insane. Okay, so you know, you have like a downstairs level with all your cardio and your weightlifting. Behind that is a huge pool. And this pool has the most insane view of San Myshuno. Imagine you're at your gym swimming and this is what you see while you're taking a swim. Are you kidding me? It's gorgeous. There's a gorgeous basement level right below it and in this basement level of the gym there is the locker rooms, some chairs for mani pedis and massages, and then this is a cute little detail. It's a very zen area of the gym where your sim could go and meditate. There's also a second level upstairs with massage beds as well as a yoga studio as well as a sauna. Oh and that's not it. It goes up again. On the third level is a little area for your sims to unwind. There's a coffee machine and a tea kettle as well as vending machines and a awkward rock climbing wall in the center of all of it. I don't know why they'd pick it to be there, but that's okay. As well as an outdoor basketball court and some more outdoor workout equipment. Again, look at this view. Your Sims doing basketball and this is your view. This gym gives me such Equinox vibes. I want to join an Equinox or a gym that's like an Equinox so bad. And it's not done. No, no. You go upstairs one more level and there's just a full on lounge full-on lounge with seats and fireplaces and a bar and an area for entertainment. You could literally have a party up here at a gym. <gasps> Who is that that I see? My spicy horse girl that's shaped like a pea, Donna LaHaye. She's here. Oh no, oh no. I hope Kaya doesn't see her. <laughs> like I said in episode one, Kaya is not super fond of Donna. She thinks she's a snob. She thinks that she's had a very easy life or in her words, the epitome of everything horrible in the world. <laughs> but she stays friendly with her because she can get things out of Donna. They benefit each other by staying each other's friends. And it's true, Donna does have have some connections that interest Kaya, but Donald is really not all that bad. It's just Kaya being a bitch, which means now is probably a great time to get into what Kaya's traits are. Kaya has a total of five traits. Her first one being, as you probably saw earlier with the whole personality swap thing that I refuse to do, her first trait is hot-headed. These sims tend to be angry, can rile up other sims, and become angry when targeted with mischief. Kaya has anger issues. Oh yes, she does. Again, if you saw it in the first episode, you probably saw Kaya throwing hands with some sims. Um, her hands are rated E for everybody. She will throw hands with anybody who gives her the slightest amount of disrespect, and I love that about her. We are not the same at all. I hate confrontation as <laughs> well playing her is very therapeutic for me. But don't be surprised if something happens with a fan or even a coworker and Kaya starts throwing hands. She has anger issues and she's well aware of it, um, but she really doesn't care about fixing them, which may be a bit problematic when it comes to her career, but we're not gonna get into that right now. Determined, this is a custom trait from Vicky Sims's 100 Traits version one mod. These Sims do not allow any difficulties to stop them. They gain all skills faster by staying focused and confident. It is the extreme version of the self-assured and genius traits. And when it says that these sims do not allow any difficulties to stop them, they mean it. Kaya is extremely determined. She wants more than anything to become one of the biggest models to ever exist in San Myshuno, New York, and she's going to do anything it takes to get to that level. She doesn't care who she has to rile up, who she has to use, who she has to woohoo with. She is going to get to that level, no matter what it costs, which is bad, but also very entertaining. Nosy, this trait comes with the Foren expansion pack. Sims who thrive on gossip, snooping, and spying. They have incredibly poor boundaries and don't quite understand 
understand what personal space is, but they will discover secrets by any means necessary. And that will aid her determined trait because like I said, she will do anything it takes to get to the top. And what's a better way to do that by using other people's secrets against them? Do you see why this series is inspired by Gossip Girl now? <laughs> Barfly, this is another trait from Vicky Sims' mod. These Sims become happy when being at a bar, lounge, or nightclub. They also get bored when they haven't gone to one of these lots for a long period of time. Kaya is a very big party girl. That is another reason why she stays friends with Donala Hayes because Donala is a very big party girl as well. A little bit more of a bigger party girl than Kaya is. Yuyan is more of a homebody. She does like to go out occasionally to meet guys since she is a hopeless romantic and all, but she's not the biggest party person in the world and neither is Jaden Montrose, especially with the history she had with her ex-girlfriend, Morgan Ambrose. Morgan was big into partying and that really affected hers and Jaden's relationship. So Jaden's not the biggest party person either. Kaya is though. Kaya, Kaya will do things that are very... Um, questionable. And her last trait is fashionista. These sims have a keen sense of fashion and enjoy experimenting with different styles and looks. They may be interested in fashion design or modeling. And that is exactly what Kaya is doing right now. And she does have some extra reward traits as well. She has meningitis and tuberculosis immune, which literally every single sim of mine to ever exist has had at some point. I don't know why the mod does that. Her zodiac sign is Libra. She does not want a child right now and is not okay with being pregnant. <laughs> the most important thing to her right now is modeling so having a child will screw that up for her so she's not okay with that and not okay with being pregnant either because in her mind it would ruin her body and how she physically looks is one of the most important aspects of modeling harsh reality but it is what it is she has a normal immune system she is gregarious which means that she builds friendships faster she's a muser because she has a creative aspiration musers get better boosts for their skills when they're inspired she's a hero from major impression personality hero sims are eager to demonstrate the courage to provide their worth and confidence subsequently they might end up appearing arrogant by looking for faults in others to feel good about themselves or pick fights. Ooh, that is a very accurate description of Kaya. Prefers non-exclusive romantic relationships. Sims who prefer non-exclusive relationships are happier with non-exclusive relationships and friends with benefits arrangements. Some of them are simply non-committal. Some of them are simply capable of committing to several Sims at once. And some of them just enjoy the freedom or excitement unconventional relationships bring. That has a lot to do with Kaya's traumatic past, um, <laughs> with her first ever love who we'll talk about another day but to summarize she fell deeply in love when she was in high school and her first love broke her heart so ever since then she really hasn't been too keen on finding love she kind of feels like it's pointless she prefers to casually date or woohoo but it's also not on her focus right now because like i said earlier her focus is modeling but when she gets down she does get down um wicked adventurous i have to blur that out wicked adventurous sims will not waste the opportunity of an unexpected wicked encounter in the wild <laughs> sometimes Sometimes you just need to let loose and get a little wicked. Why is there a random cat here? Kaya is looking cute. She's head to toe in skims and she's ready to go work out, but not without checking Scandal Sim. So in the first episode, I introduced Scandal Sim, which is basically the Sim version of Gossip Girl. This series is going to be heavily inspired by Gossip Girl and Scandal Sim plays a major role in that. I made a video discussing Scandal Sim, what it is and how you guys as an audience can participate in it. So make sure you go watch that video if you have as well. But to summarize, Scandal Sim is basically like Gossip Girl. Sims will send tips into Scandal Sim about famous Sims in San Myshuno, New York, and Scandal Sim will post it onto their blog, putting these Sims on blast. Kaya is one of the main targets as well as her friends. Luckily, it doesn't look like Scandal Sim has posted anything new about Kaya within the past few hours, but they were being a little harsh to Kaya during her Delso Valley trip. When Kaya was leaving, Scandal Sim posted, spotted, waiting for her Uber bags in hand, Kaya Covington. Rumor has it she's heading to Delso Valley, Los Angeles for the deal of a lifetime. Knowing I want to be it girl's history of unhinged and impulsive behavior, surely she won't be able to hold on to something so good for so long. A few days after, she posted a blast about her best friend Yuyin Zagala, spotted. Yuyin Zagala taking a stroll in Magnolia Promenade with lingerie model Monique Worthman. Uh, okay. Only out of town a couple of days and your bestie is already trading up. We know simfluencing is Yuyin's forte, but is social climbing on the agenda as well? Nothing really to set Kaya off, nothing really to get her upset until this blast. Lavender in Los Angeles, Spotted, Kaya Covington frolicking around Del Sol Valley, Los Angeles. Word on the street is our wannabe supermodel is partnering once again with LA swimwear brand Simply Scandalous for the fifth time in her six year long career as the brand debuts their first ever lingerie line. An indie coastal brand, Kay? Seriously? We thought you were serious about this whole modeling thing. No wonder your bestie Yuyan is trading up and hanging with the real models, such as runway lingerie model Monique Worthman. Ouch. Fuck. 
Along with that were a few other blasts that I found very entertaining. This one is submitted by Strong Simmer Number One. By the way, like I said in the video explaining Scandal Sim, some of these submissions are submitted by you guys, the audience, and you are able to submit to Scandal Sim at any time. So if you have a famous or scandalous sim that you want to put on blast, go to scandalsim.tumblr.com and submit your blast right now. This one was submitted by Strong Simmer Number One. Spotted Jane Henderson, the saint turned sinner, swapping her Sunday church routine for a dance floor at the hottest club in town, stepping into to a night of more than just beats and lights, our girl's secrets are becoming the city's hottest topic. The burning question hangs in the air. How will her uptight Christian parents react to their daughter indulging in the club's not so holy delights? I loved that blast. Oh my goodness, that was insane. This one was submitted by Appaloosa Wims. Spotted, actress Lola Clemens smoking a cigarette. Careful before you cough up all your secrets. Must be hard trying to pretend you're from the Upper East Side. Good God, I would not want to come outside if I'm Lola Clemens. Okay, back to the video. Nothing new has been posted about Kaya today, so we're just gonna go into the gym and have her work out. Oh, she has to go to the bathroom and she's hungry. Girl, no, sorry. You're just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> I don't care. Okay, so this is the woman's bathroom. I really love this layout. I love how there's showering areas over here and then the bathrooms are over here and they're separate. I love that. Okay, go piss girl. And then after that, she can go ahead and do the row machine. Let's see what other people are doing around here. Ew, this dude stinks. Oh, oh. Kaya, was that you? <laughs> was that you? <laughs> I love the slice of life mod. I'm so glad it came back. <laughs> oh my God though, this man stinks. He's giving himself a motivational talk and he stinks, whatever. Now I did see Kaya's good friend, Donala here. Now is she still here? <gasps> she is, oh my goodness. Why are there bandages on your face? What happened? Who did you throw hands with? I did not know she gets down like that. Oh my God, but okay. This is Donala Hayes and she is one of our main girlies. I did make her myself. I am so excited to play her one day. I should have mentioned this in the beginning actually, but there will be some rotational gameplay in the series. So the main focus is Kaya, but at times I will have an episode dedicated to playing as Yuyan, playing as Donala, playing as Jaden. Very excited for her because she is the type of sim I've wanted to make and play for a really long time. She is a spicy horse girl, spicy horse girl goes crazy. I'm so excited. But yeah, I love Donala. Kaya is not very fond of her. She thinks that she's kind of stuck up and snobbish. Honestly, she's actually really nice. It's just Kaya being a bitch. <laughs> now that you're done exploding in the bathroom, we can actually go work out now. And don't worry, looks like Donala's leaving. What is he doing? Who is this? <laughs> Damien Carlton. Okay, well, we're staying away from Damien. He's a teen? I need that Judge Judy meme. You look older you look older than your years and that is not a compliment and you stink <gasps> oh oh come on no 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 don't leave where you were just up there okay forget it kai is now on the row machine i will leave the mod on screen i forget if this is the crossfit mod i don't believe it is so probably gonna have her do this for a minute and then after that we're gonna have her shower in the locker room downstairs and then go meet you again for lunch let's check out her wants actually what does she want to walk starlight boulevard girl you were just in del sol valley <sighs> I'm sick of her. Rile up a sim from being hot-headed. Of course, she wants to do that, okay. And write gossip blog post. Oh my God, we are not scandal sim. We are not scandal sim. We cannot be writing gossip posts. We have better things to do, girly. And also I wanna check on her moodlets. Magazine business. Kaya is so attractive now. Magazine companies want her to be on their magazine covers. Did she get a magazine offer? Oh, she did. She did get a magazine offer and we are poor. So I'm thinking about taking it up, but not today. Her hygiene isn't that low though, so I think I'm just gonna have her do something else. How about a little strength training? Let's do a back squat barbel. When the hell did she change out of her skim set? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh my. God damn. She's doing it so easily. What is this fit? I'm so mean. <laughs> Fitness level is level seven. Yes, I did give her some skills. See, I need other Sims, Sims Townies to take notes. This is an appropriate place to autonomously do push-ups. Okay, this is appropriate, a gym, not on the public sidewalk. Yu Yen, I'm talking to you. Okay, looks like she's about to wrap that up and she is getting hungry, but again, her hygiene level isn't really that low. I'm surprised. So I guess we can just go straight ahead and go meet Yu Yen for lunch. And we are meeting her for lunch at Whole Foods Market. <laughs> 
Whole Foods has an amazing hot bar. I don't care what anybody says. So this is Whole Foods. This lot was created by Simcoos and it is available on their Patreon. I love this lot. It is so beautiful, so realistic, so much attention to detail. You got your fruits, you got your vegetables, you have your snacks, you have your alcohol. And then the one thing that I really, really love is that they have their own kind of makeshift hot bar. So you have like sandwiches, you have pastas, you have salads. I think that's so cute. And Yu Yen is here. She looks so cute in the same outfit she was doing push-ups in earlier. Look at our besties. Aw, they're so cute. Oh my god, not the paparazzi with the blue alien eyes here. Looks like Kaya is complaining about the cloudy weather. Did she just go... She just went streaking. I didn't tell her to do that. Riled up from socialization, a hot-headed sim just can't keep their anger hidden when they have a bad conversation. What about the conversation was bad? Girl, you are so confusing. Okay, well, since Yu Yen decided to streak, I'll just go ahead and have Kaya buy some food from the hot bar. And why is everyone... Is there a celebrity here? Oh, this is why. There's a socializer here named Nicola Gratz. She's an elder and she's a B-lister. I'm just trying to buy food. <laughs> I'm just trying to buy food. See, look at all these options. We have a tofu sandwich and we have a chicken sandwich. We have a ham sandwich, shrimp with vegetables, chicken bowl, stewed meat with vegetables, bean salad with crackers, vegetable salad with onions. There's so many options. Okay, well, I'm gonna guess Kaya would go for something like a shrimp and Yuyan. Let's get her something with like steak. Yeah, steak and grilled vegetables. Oh my God, Yuyan, put your fucking clothes back on. Jesus Christ, and you're whipping out the vape. I've had enough. We bought our food, our very expensive food. You're welcome, by the way. Incoming phone call from Bryce Fletcher. It's not set in stone, but I think I'm getting that big promotion. Okay. Literally, <laughs> who are you? Why are you calling me? Okay, Kai is getting really fucking hungry now. So let's have the two of them. Let's have them sit here. Kaya is on her merry way while Yu Yen is still vaping. Girl, I'm gonna need you to hurry up. Put the vape down. Put the vape down. She's already sitting. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> Went through the store and everything. Oh no. <laughs> I have tears in my eyes. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> this mod is so funny to me. It's life tragedies, by the way. Um, it's so funny to me because car accidents in my saves are very rare, very rare. I, I haven't seen one happen. I don't think since since that one episode of the Not So Berry when Quentin Laurent got hit outside of Rosalie's school. And that's for me, filming that was like in January. So that's been a while. Just for this bitch to get hit on the first day of filming Model Simpson. Oh my God. <laughs> Who is this? Maureen Carlton, aw, rip Maureen. <laughs> oh, oh Maureen. Oh man, she got toe up. She got so up. Her ankles are pointed in separate directions. Oh, wow. Wait, Yu Yen, where are you going? Yu Yen, no, girl. Is she going over there to watch the death? Girl, why would you? Oh my God, now you're gonna be traumatized. Yu Yen, you're so dumb. <laughs> Yu Yen, please come back. It's 418 and Kaya has places to be. Oh, it's just, it's just not happening. It's just not happening, is it? Are we done? Are you coming back now? Okay, let's let's try this again. <laughs> Come back. Is she coming? Oh, she's running. Okay, good. Get your ass over here. Oh, and she's sad from witnessing death. <laughs> well, maybe this friendly gif of steak and vegetables will make you feel a little bit better, girl. So take the lunch. So cute. See? That made you feel a little better. No, okay. Let's give her a soothing snuggle. Let's make her feel better. Come on, girly. You didn't even know this woman. Okay, great. Now let's eat lunch. Let's eat, let's eat lunch because Kaya has to go soon. Look how supportive Kaya is being. I know it's hard, but try not to dwell on the negative. Let's focus on something positive instead. Do you wanna talk about something that makes you happy? Look how nice she's being. Despite her moodlets, she is 
pissed off and she's cold girl i can't help you with that right now okay y'all need to eat just just eat your lunch you'll feel better she's playing with her food because she's so upset <laughs> let's try to make her happier let's let's ask her about her mood let's talk about the positive maybe yeah body positivity conversation let's do it let's maybe talk about our goals they're so cute Oh my god. <laughs> it's not that deep. You didn't even know the woman. Yuyun is very nice though. She's very sensitive. She's very emotional. So I can understand why she's so hung up over this. But at the same time, girl, you did not have to walk over there to see that woman's corpse on the ground, okay? It happened while you were walking away, while you were all the way over here. You kind of traumatized yourself. And it is 614. We gotta go. Donala, hello? Donala Hayes is wondering if I want to go over to her house and hang out. Um, <laughs> it's very nice of you, Donala. Very nice, but we have to go to Jaden's gig, which starts kind of soon. So is she feeling better? No, she's not. Okay, I give up. And where did we get $1,300 in simoleons from? 640 on her day off. Oh, that's why. Okay, she's done eating. Yuyin's, she just finished eating. So we're gonna go ahead and say goodbye to her. And we're gonna head back home to get ready to go out to go see Jaden's gig. So say goodbye. Great, and we're leaving now. Okay, we're back at home. We're gonna have Kaya take a quick nap because she's really, really tired. Um, and after that, we'll have her go out or have her get ready a little bit, maybe unload her laundry, and then she'll finally go out to see Jaden's gig after that very eventful visit. When did the air quality in San Machino get messed up? Ew, ew. Okay, well, that's unpleasant. Ignore the toe socks. I know, I know. I have a foot override and it just makes every single sock turn into toe socks and there's nothing I can do about it. I just want to get her energy up a little bit. And then after that, again, her hygiene isn't super low so i guess what i'll have her do i think i'll have her freshen up a bit and change into her outfit and then we'll be ready to go look at her sleeping so peacefully okay wakey wakey time to get the fuck up so go ahead and freshen up yes make sure you look cute you can't be going out and about as a model looking just any type of way and she's in her dress and her fucking laundry's on the floor now oh, i keep forgetting that laundry is a thing now oh but she looks so cute i love uh, this dress a large company wants kaya to promote their brand on her simstagram page for 2500 simoleons sorry Jaden. we're doing that right now i will be using the road to fame mod by sacrificial a lot i love sacrificial's mods um especially this one this one is so great for your sims that you want to make famous where is it simstagram promote brand quick money quick and easy money before we go out we gotta have money to buy drinks or we can find a male sim to buy those drinks for us 2500 simoleons perfect and with that i think we're finally ready to go so you're telling me that kaya and yu yen's lot is the only lot that's causing this industrial eco footprint that is some bullshit that is actually <laughs> some bullshit but okay who is this actually I know exactly who this is. Chase Goldberg, you are so fine. You are so fine. I did a little testing on uh, on him with another sim of mine. Just a little, you know, wicked test. And um, I wasn't uh, expecting what I saw. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> Gaia is at the nightclub. This is the Soul Fire Jazz nightclub here in San Machuno. And Jaden's here. She looks so cute in her dress for her gig. Oh, I love Jaden so much. And Kaya girl, she is ready to party. She wants to dance to the DJ performance. Okay, we can do that, but after, after your good friend Jaden's gig. And let me just say, Jaden, the dress is dressin'. The dress is dressin'. And I'm kind of thinking, I'm kind of getting the idea. Where is he? I, I'm sorry guys, the sim is just too fine for me to ignore. Look at him, oh my God. <laughs> Thank you so much, Softer Sims. You don't understand how much this sim means to me. I'm thinking I might have Kaya flirt with him later if he doesn't leave because he is cute. Jaden is going in to perform, so let's go and support our bestie. Let's go run here. Run. That's not a run, that's a jog. Okay, let's watch Jaden perform her song. She looks so gorgeous. <laughs>
are y'all on stage? Why are y'all on stage? This game pisses me off, but she sounded great. Good job, Jaden. You sounded good. She is going to perform another song later, but for now, they can go ahead and party. Aw, she's congratulating her. So cute. And she reached level two of the charisma skill. Nice. Since... Oh? Hello? Uh, uh, uh. Jaden! When did you start doing... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 this is new information to me. Because I thought you were traumatized because of what happened with you and Morgan. F yeah, we want some. Holy shit, I was not expecting that. Hey, no, hey, Chase, no, Chase, Chase, wait, so is she gonna give it to her? <laughs> no way. Kaya is starting to feel something taking hold. Kaya, it is a Wednesday. Chase is still here. I want Kaya to go and say hi to him. Like I said, she's not interested in like a relationship, but you know, it'd be nice to, you know, have some woohoo here and there. Jaden's living it up. She is minding her business, living it up. And Tom Peeping is here. Disgusting. Oh, wow. Oh, he's breaking it down. Oh, okay. Ew. <laughs> I gotta have the ick. <laughs> she said hi to you, sir. She wants to, she wants to get to know you, and you're just gonna keep dancing? Oh. I don't know if I like this. Stop dancing, please. I'm trying to get with you, even despite these horrific dance moves. Jaden's just getting lit back there. Does she take some too? Finally. Oh, ooh, we're flirting right off the bat, huh? Are we liking him? And he's dancing again. Chase, please, you're so fine. Let her talk to you. I'm just gonna have her maybe ask for his number. Compliment. Oh my goodness, stop. Let's do exchange numbers. Let's see if he takes it. Come on. You'd have to be dumb to deny a model. Yes! Yes, he's attracted to her. Yes! This man is so fine. I'm so happy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, and Kai is hella flirty from that interaction. Look at her face! Look at her face! <laughs> and they have a romance bar ready. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh my, from s <laughs> <laughs> From seeing a what? From seeing a what? Is that a real thing? A big is a powerful aphrodisiac. Oh my goodness. Sweet friends from love being affirmed. Aw, Jaden affirmed her love for her. That's so sweet. Flush with flirtation from flirty mood. Kaya is wearing a rosy tint of romance. It is a warm glow that might just invite some curious glances or spark new connections. Oh my God, it's true. Look at her. She's, she's it nonstop. Oh, and her eyes. Oh my God, her eyes. <laughs> I'm liking how this first episode is turning out and he's flirting with her non-stop. Oh, we're definitely woohooing with him. We're definitely woohooing with him. She's having a great, great time. And where did Jaden go? Did Jaden leave? Okay, I guess we're not watching her next set then. That's fine. We're just gonna go get a drink then. Like I said, Kaya loves to party and since she's here with Chase, we might as well just vibe and see where this goes. Let's go sit with him up here. Let's just go talk with him and see if anything happens. Just lasts a little longer, okay? Let's get to know him a little better. Tom, you better get the f out of my way. Do not play with me. Get out of here. She's sweating. She's sweating. Her eyes are red. Her... <laughs> Kai is a mess because of this man. And I do not blame her one bit. I cannot get over the fact that she's sweating bullets. <gasps> Chase, where are you going? Oh my God. Maybe that's a sign. Maybe that's a sign we should just leave it alone. You know, they, ha they have a romance bar. Maybe I should just leave it alone. And it looks like he's just coming back downstairs to dance once again. Kai needs to go home anyways. She needs to go home. <laughs> she's gonna piss herself. She's hungry and she's tired. So, okay, we'll wrap it up for the night and let's head back to her San Myshuno brownstone. We're back at home and Kaya really has to take a piss. So um, go do that, go piss girl. I'm gonna have her go take a piss and then go take a shower maybe, cause she's covered in sweat. Okay, she went to the bathroom, she washed her hands. Let's have her make, maybe, maybe just eat like an apple or something. Ew, it looks so ugly now that we're industrial. Like there's no way it's just Kaya responsible for this shit. That is some bullshit. We'll have a full meal when you wake up in the morning. 
And off to bed she goes. And in the morning, I'll make her, you know, take a shower, get the sweat off her face. A cold shower at that since she's so damn flirty. I mean, I get it, but we have things to do tomorrow. Tomorrow's a very big day, and we'll talk about that in the morning. And that concludes today's episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to episode two of my first ever Let's Play Model Sim Descent. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And please do be patient with me. I'm new at learning this whole Let's Play thing. This is something I've never done before. So I'm hoping as I go, I'll get more comfortable with the microphone and just be able to learn to the best of my abilities how to make these types of videos because I'm definitely still learning. This is not my forte, but I had a lot of fun and I hope you guys had fun watching and you're enjoying so far and that you like the concept of the Let's Play and the concept of Scandal Sim.